Hey guys, just wanted to go over something real quick with your EOTEX and uh, red dots on mounting it. Uh, even with the quick disconnect, there's, you see a lot of issues with people losing their zeros and even with the uh, screw mounts. So, I'll see guys come to class and they'll shoot a group and it'll be good and then we'll start shooting and we'll get out to distance and they're like, man, everything's going to the right or everything's going to the left. And there's a couple of different things that I see. So. Uh, one of them is people will take the optic and just set it on the rail like that and clamp it down. Okay, uh, while that seems to be correct, really and truly what you want is this connector that holds it in between these Picatinny rails. You want it to be pressed up against the, f the front of that rail. So you want to put it on and put forward pressure on it and then clamp it down. Okay, so the problem is that occurs when you don't do that under recoil, this site, all other things equal, wants to stay in the exact same place in space that it has been. So if this isn't quite tight enough, or if it, even if it is pretty tight and it gets knocked or anything like that, it's going to want to adjust forward under recoil. So because the rifle's going backwards, the EOTech wants to stay in the same spot. So what I want to do to help mitigate that is to put forward pressure on it and then lock it down. No problems there. Uh, one quick thing, doesn't cost you any money to make sure that you're getting it done right. So another thing that you run into specifically with EOTEX and uh, not really aim points because the screw mechanisms are different. What it is uh, that I see a lot is people will make adjustments and they'll have done the, the correct mounting procedure but then uh, after a few rounds they'll start noticing it's, eh, it's got a little bit of a drift or when I adjusted it only adjusted a quarter inch instead of a half inch, which is the, the click adjustments on these are half inch at uh, 100 yards. What I've, I've even forgotten to do in my last uh, couple of times of re-zeroing was when I make my adjustment, after I make that adjustment, I'll take a screwdriver or a polymer magazine or something, I'll just give it a couple of wraps. Uh, you're not, you know, don't whack the crap out of it or anything like that, just give it a few wraps. What that does is help those screw adjustments and springs on the inside of it sit in the correct position. The adjustments are a little bit different than you find in a lot of other optics and so they may tend to stay in the position they were already in or, or stay close to it and not make the full adjustment. Giving it that wrap makes all that sit together. Uh, ask me how I know this. I actually have been taking it on and off and realized I was like, man, I think the uh, EOTech mount doesn't hold zero. In reality, what it was, I was forgetting to do that. When I take it off and then I put it back on, the adjustments would click in the, their correct position and the dot would be off with my sights. That's one of the things I like about the bottom third co-witness is I can throw my sights up and double check to make sure that red dot's on because when I do cleaning, I take this off because I use some harsh chemicals. You can cover it up, but I choose to take it off because it's, it does actually hold zero, so there's no reason that I shouldn't take it off. So. Uh, that's just a little food for thought for you guys. Uh, if you have any more questions, uh, hit me up in the comments and I'll make another video on something else. I appreciate it, guys.